What's up guys, so today I'm going to go over a basic beginner boxing workout to get you ready so whether you're going to the gym to spar an opponent or you're just going to hit the heavy bag, you're nice and warmed up, prevent any further injuries from being too stiff. So guys, let's jump right into this video. Welcome to the RB Effect. Like that? Yeah? Good! Hey, What's good YouTube? It's your boy Reggie here. It's so important when you're going into the boxing gym to have a plan. And in this video, I'm going to show you six of the best basic boxing workouts to get you loose, to get you warmed up. So when you're sparring a partner or you're hitting a heavy bag, you're not hurting yourself. Because a lot of guys, they come into the gym and they go straight to sparring or they go straight to hitting a heavy bag. And they're wondering why they can't perform to the best of their ability. It's because they're not warmed up. Their muscles are still tight. And it's so important to be nice and loose, especially in boxing, because when you're a sitting snail, that's when a person's able to attack you. And if you're hitting the heavy bag, you're not gonna be able to move around and get your mind thinking that it's a person if you're not loose enough or you're not warmed up. So in this video, we're going to go over six exercises, and what I want you to do for every exercise is to really focus on that workout and that workout only, because a lot of people are only focused on the outcome, which is I want to go into the ring. So they do quick warm-ups, and then they jump right into it. No. Each exercise I'm going to show you, I want you to focus and really get the best of that workout. So guys, let's jump right into this video. So you guys ready? Let's get it. Work on number one, jump rope. It's so important to warm up your legs because when you're moving around, remember, if your calves get out, that's when you start slowing down. If your legs give out, you're done. So to get those legs nice and warmed up right before you jump into the ring or hit the heavy bag, you want to warm up with jump rope. So what I like to do before I start boxing, I'm going to jump for three minutes for three rounds. You need to get your body nice and ready. <laughs> Get those calves warmed up. Get nice and loose. Get those legs nice and loose. So when you're doing this, remember, keep a nice rhythm and then do those three minutes for three rounds. Work on number two, shadow boxing. So now that we got our legs and our calves nice and warmed up, you want to get the entire body warmed up. You want to get your cardiovascular system moving. So you want to move also the upper body. It's not all about throwing power, especially when you're shadow boxing. It's all about getting the technique. It's all about getting that torso nice and loose, getting your back loose, your shoulders, your arms, your legs, everything. So remember guys, keep in mind, when you're shadow boxing, you want to visualize an opponent. So you actually want to duck, move, keep your hands up at all times. So when it looks like, you want to do this. Move around the opponent. It's not about throwing power, it's about getting nice and loose. So, guys, remember shadow boxing, keep your hands up and loosen up those muscles. Workout number three, hitting the speed bag. So keep in mind when hitting the speed bag, it's gonna put a lot of tension on your shoulders. So which means it forces you to keep those hands up. A lot of people that just think the speed bag is just for speed, yes it is, but at the same time it's helping you keep those hands up. So when you're tired in the ring, when you're boxing, you're not dropping those hands. When you drop those hands, that's when the time when the person throws those shots, and then the shots you don't see are the ones that put you out. So when you're hitting the speed bag, so what I like to do, I like to do it for three minutes, and I like to do two top three rounds. For those that can't do it as fast, start off slow. It's all about getting that rhythm. But as time goes on, you start to speed up. It's all about keeping those hands up. Workout number four. Footwork. Remember, footwork is so important when boxing because if you're not able to move away from your opponent, circle your opponent, or move towards your opponent to attack, you're pointless. So you're just a sitting duck when you're not able to move around. So when we're doing footwork, I like to do for three minutes for two rounds just to get my legs warmed up and get myself used to moving around that opponent, which looks like this.
It's all about circling and getting the opponent confused. Workout number five, hitting the heavy bag. So now that we got our body completely warmed up, you're able to do the best that you can without feeling sore or you're out of breath. So what I like to do by hitting the heavy bag for three minutes for five rounds. And if you feel like five rounds is too low for you, then you up it. You do six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever the case may be. So guys, keep in mind when hitting that heavy bag, remember to always keep those hands up and visualize that the bag is an opponent. Workout number six, let that medicine ball strengthen your core. So when you're boxing, remember it's not all about offense, it's all about defense also. So you wanna get your body used to kind of, if you do take a shot, because when you go into a boxing fight, whether it's street fighting, whether it's MMA, you cannot go into that ring without probably getting hit once. It's just part of the territory. But if you do get in there without getting hit, then the opponent wasn't that good. But you always want to anticipate, and it's exactly what I'm going to show you, and get your body ready so when you do maybe take a shot to the stomach, your core is nice and strong and you're able to take it. So what I want you to do, 10 reps. I got a 14-pound medicine ball. You're going to throw it up as high as you can and let it hit you in the core so let the gravity take control. Guys, you see the thing that I was doing with after the medicine ball, every time it made contact, I was blowing out. That's exactly what you want to do. You want to exhale when you take a shot. Because if you're inhaling, you'll get the air knocked out of you. So when I'm throwing my hands, I'm fighting against an opponent, and let's just say we hit each other at the exact same time, if you're not exhaling, getting yourself tight, which is a good example. If I tell you to flex your core right now, a lot of people did the exhale. That's exactly what you do at the same time. So when you're throwing punches, just in case when the person hits you, all the air is out, you're nice and tight, you're nice and flexed and contracted, so they feel nothing but solid rock rather than a soft marshmallow. Alright guys, that goes my video, hope you enjoyed. Remember when doing these six exercises, you always want to perform the best of your ability. Don't halfway through these exercises, you want to do exactly three minutes and for the round, do no less than two rounds for each exercise because if you're expecting to grow and progress, especially when it comes to combat sport, you want to do it enough times that your cardio does build up, your muscle endurance builds up, and your movement gets so comfortable that it's like second nature when I'm going under a punch, I'm throwing punches, I'm moving around, I got my hands, I'm blocking. You guys have to keep in mind, practice makes perfect, and doing these workouts is definitely going to help you get a lot better, so now you can come from a novice to a pro. So guys, before we end this video, don't forget to leave a comment below. Let me know how this video goes, or what other future exercises you want me to focus on. Also, don't forget to hit that notification button so you know my next video comes out. It's your boy Reggie B. Like my video, subscribe to my video, so your boy can be back. And if you do that, I'll be real proud of you. Metamorphosis complete.